Boo! How you doing? Pretty good, you know, same old grind. Yeah, you ready for the movie? Yeah, I just go to the diner in 15 minutes. Let's go see that movie. Okay, let's go. Oh, excuse me for a sec. Uh, can I help you, sir? What? Oh, God, I'm sorry. This is Apollo. Yeah. Oh, this is Apollo. Yeah, he's, he's with us. He's coming to the movie with us, okay? Great, that's great, sure. Okay, <laughs> Paul, I want you to meet my buddy, Tony. Hi. Hi, Paulo. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> what do I look like, a businessman? <laughs> Save that for a businessman, okay? I'm not a businessman. <laughs> <It's a> joke. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> okay, you guys, what do you want to go see? The listing's right here. I'm easy. Yeah? Oh, well, I'm easy. You know me, I'll see anything labeled movie. You know? Okay. <laughs> hey, movie. how about we go see High Stakes? Oh, I would love to see High Stakes. Yes, I've heard, I've heard nothing but great things about it. I heard yeah. it's like the best action movie since Die Hard. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Definitely high stakes. Let's yes, go. Yes. Let's go see high stakes. Excuse me. Who told you it was a good movie? <laughs> people? Sorry, what people? Do you mind if I ask? People come to the diner after the movie to have a milkshake and a burger and they talk about the movie articulately sometimes. Yeah, intelligent people come here to the diner, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, apparently not. What? Yeah, I mean, I've seen it. It's a piece oh, of crap. Oh, you've seen it. Yeah, sorry, that's what I was trying to say. I was just taking the long way around. Oh, well, yeah. that'd be dumb then. I mean, he's seen it, you know? So, what's... Look, do you guys want to see a movie? Yeah, well, we want to see It doesn't sound a... like you want to see a movie. You don't sound too movie enthusiastic. Frankly, to you know Tony, what, you... what is with you? You are Mr. Movie. Well, I don't see a movie every night in my life. I can go home and read a book. I can be Mr. Book, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> I got it. Woody Allen. Oh, I like Woody, Woody Allen. Is a Woody Allen film well, festival I like Woody in town? Allen. You know, I'll see any Woody You'll Allen. You love Woody Allen. Allen. I love Woody Allen. It's really up to hey, you guys. How do we really go see Woody, Woody Allen? Allen? You like Woody Allen? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I like Woody Allen. Oh. I uh, love Woody Allen. Oh. Yeah, I think a lot of important film critics. Though they don't come here to the diner. <laughs> yeah. Would probably agree with me that he's the number one comedy genius. Of genius? The yeah, genius. Oh. Of the past 20 years, yeah, I love Woody Allen. Yeah, so? I totally agree. Great. Well, Woody Allen it is then. Yeah, let's go see the genius. Okay, it doesn't start uh, for about half an hour. I'm starved. You got something to eat around here? I guess I got some cheese sandwiches left over from the day. Oh, great. Sure I love the these. Sandwich. Oh, wow. Paul, here, have one of these babies. I love your cheese sandwiches. What is it you do again? Oh, well, you know, you know I do a few things. I, yeah. I butter both sides of the bread. Yeah. Oh, and, of course, I pre grill the cheese. Oh. I find that brings out the essence of the whole cheese flavor. Sort of yeah. helps the entire cheese affair. <laughs> no, thanks. I mean, no thanks to the cheese sandwich. I'd just rather not eat a cheese sandwich right now, if that's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw it on the floor. I missed. That'll happen to a guy. You know what I mean? I don't think a court in the world will convict me, do no. you? No. No, good. Well, oof, that's a way to... I'm sorry. I know it's your specialty and everything. You must be having a great time up there buttering both sides of the bread. Really, you know. I mean, I'm sure you're going to go far with that thing. Ride that rocket, baby. <laughs> what are you doing with your eyes here? What is that? That's bugging me. Do you mind? All right, who is he? I want to know who is he. Apollo! Oh, no, I know who he is. I want to know who does he think he is. 
Huh? Who do you think you are? All right, listen, buddy. No! Who do you think you are? You're obviously someone very important to come into my establishment and treat me like I was the scum you scrape off the tomato soup. That wasn't the... Look. Oh, no, 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 no. You're obviously from a very rich, important family. Maybe your uncle invented something great, like the toaster? <laughs> you little piece of crap. I know who you are. I know who you are. You're just another bully. Like the guy in the streetcar today who took me away from the window seat because I went the window seat. You little piece of jerk. Let me tell you something. Look at me. Look at me. Let me tell you something. I am going to college and I am studying journalism. And when I graduate in a few years, I'll be working for the best paper in this city and you'll still be coming to places like this, picking up people like me, you little piece of crap, jerk, crap. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Well, I don't think your friend likes me no, very much, man. No, he didn't mean nothing. Oh, he didn't mean nothing. Now, what the hell was that? Hey, you, he's, he's okay, eh, Tone? No, he's an asshole. <laughs> You're the asshole. You're the asshole. No, you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. asshole. I blame you. What? Yeah. Me? What? Okay, what the hell was that all about? He's a total creep. Yeah? He's a total creep. No, no, like you wrote him the moment he came in here. Are you blind? That's right. No, I'm not blind. blind. What are you staring at? Nothing. You're looking at my birthmark, aren't you? Just for a second. Forget the movie. I mean... Oh, come on. Come screw on. Woody Allen. What? What? You never understood interiors! I don't know. Was it me? Hi, I'm Bruce McCullough. I'd like to tell you about the Daves I know. These are the Daves I know, I know. These are the Daves I know. These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know David Hoffner, he works in my dad's store He's worked here for 12 years He'll probably work here for more These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know Dave Gore, I've known since I was six In Grady, he broke his leg So we got drunk and sick These are the days I know these are the days I know These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know Some of them are Davids But most of us are Daves They all have their own hands But they come from different mums <laughs> These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know These are the days I know, I know These are the days I know Dave Jadiski Man, this cat can swing he weighs almost 50 pounds and he delivers my paper on time. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. Dave Capisano, I hardly know him. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. We are the days we know. Are the days I know, I know. We are the days, you know, know. These are the days. Hi, my name's Dave Foley, and uh, something you might not know about me is that I have a good attitude towards menstruation. <laughs> That's right, I'm the guy. The guy with a good attitude towards menstruation. Oh, I know a lot of men are made uncomfortable by this monthly miracle, but not me. No. I embrace it. Embrace it the way some men embrace the weekend. Why, I anticipate it the way a child anticipates Christmas. Did you know that uh, in a lot of native Indian cultures, menstruating women were forced to leave the village lest their powerful magic should overwhelm that of the shaman? If I were shaman, I wouldn't be so competitive. 
I'd be more open and giving. I'd be a shaman with a good attitude towards menstruation. Because after all, what is it? A cluster of blood vessels awaiting a fertilized egg. Providing a safe, warm place for that egg to grow. And if a life does not occur, the whole thing is flushed away and the cycle begins again. Now, is that anything to be ashamed of or disgusted by? No. This is the nesting stuff of humanity. That's why the woman I shall love will be able to menstruate as fully and freely as she desires. Even if her monthly flow should build in intensity to a raging rust-colored torrent. An unbridled river of life-giving blood flowing from between her legs. An awesome cataract plunging off the edge of our couch. I wouldn't be phased. No, no, even if Cordoba were to come upstream battling the ready rappers and singing a jaunty song, I would take no offense. Rather, I would ford across that mighty womanly river and fetch herbal tea and pamperin. And then, I'd mop her brow and I would admire her fecundity. For I have a good attitude toward menstruation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now that I'm sorry, let me in! If I'm out all night, I will freeze and die. Will you be happy when you see me frozen and dead? Yes! <laughs> okay, I see the humor in this now. So let me in! No! All right, that's all right. The house is in my name. I can do what I want. I can do what I want. New house rules! New house rules! From now on, the outside of the house is the inside, and the inside of the house is the outside! You can't do that! Yes, I can! The house is in my name! I can do whatever I want! You're outdoors, baby! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just retire to the living room, where it's far more comfortable. <laughs> All right, Harold. Let me in. No! Let me in, please, you bastard! Let me in! No! Let me in, Harold. I swear to God, I'll kill you! When I'm ready, baby! When I'm ready! other friends. Dad, there'll be other law firms in Boston. <laughs> it's never easy when Timmy gets transferred. My name is Ed. He's sick of the Swiss. That's right. I'm sick of their good reputation. He's really sick of the Swiss. I'm sick of their cheese. I'm sick of their chocolate. And I'm especially sick of their plucky heroine, Heidi. He's sick of the Swiss. He don't like them. I mean, every other nation in the world has taken their turn being maligned and slandered. But not the Swiss. Icky, yucky, stinky, stupid Switzerland. Well, that situation is over as of now. Move over, America! 
There's a new asshole on the map. <laughs> I've had it up to here with your skiing heroes. I've had it up to here with your mountains. I've had it up to here with your secret bank accounts. From now on, Switzerland, your name is Mud. If you roast them all in a fondue pot, yeah. sure bet that they'll complain a lot. Whiny, whiny Switzerland. Huh. It's war between the Swiss and me. But they've never done anything wrong, you say. Ha ha! What about the clock? The clock. Huh? Yeah. If they hadn't invented the clock, I'd still be in bed, dreaming. It's time. It's time. Oh, it's time to hate the Swiss. <laughs> Zurich heads. Cuckoo cuckoos, landlocked losers, Circus. neutral ninnies, mm. boring bankers, yep. chalet pimps. <laughs> oh yeah, his name is Ed. Yeah. He'd like to see the Swiss dead. He's sick of the Swiss. <laughs> hey, got a problem with that Belgium? <laughs> the doctor. He said he'd get here as soon as all creatures great and small was over. Uh, well, you better stay put, Frank. I can't stay in bed, Martha. I gotta get out and plant the sheep. If we don't get ourselves a good crop of wool this year, we're gonna lose the farm. Don't worry, Frank Jr. will plant the sheep. Frank Jr.? He's just a little girl. I know, but it's about time she became a man. Uh. You just stay in rest. No, uh, you stay in rest. Doctor's coming, Ma. Ma the, the doctor's coming, Frank. Go, leave. You stay here. Uh, I'll be back with the doctor. The doctor's coming up the way, Ma. He's coming. Oh, he stopped. He's just looking down. He's just staring at a pretty rock, Ma. Oh, he picked it up and he threw it. He hit a crow with the rock, Ma. The doctor hit a crow with the rock and he's coming again, Ma. He's coming again, Ma. I can see him. He's almost here, Ma. Doctor's almost here. Hi, doctor. <laughs> Hey, Frank Jr. Miss McKay. Hi, doctor. Excuse me, Junior. Come doctor, right on in, you. doctor. Why, sure. That's the door. Well. Come right in. Frank's in the bedroom. I'd better wipe the mud off of my boots first. Oh, no, that's all right. Oh, oh no, right no, in. no, no. See, it's such a lovely day. I've heard I come by the river route, and you know what a mess of rain we've been having lately, and so needless to say, my boots have gathered more than their fair share of mud. Please don't travel. bother. Please don't yeah, bother. Go right no, in. No, it's no bother. I don't want to get mud all over your lovely kitchen floor, Ms. McKay. Well, we're going to clean the floor later. I I'll wouldn't just hear of it. I would not hear of just it. Just take the damn things off, then! <laughs> I'm sorry, Doctor. Just that Frank is awfully sick. No, sick. no, no, Mrs. McKay. You're right. You're right. I'll just take them off. Well, let's just get down here and, uh... uh um, well, what do you know? Got a little knot in my laces. Never mind, Doctor. Never mind. Get the floor dirty. I love dirty floors. I love dirty floors. I love dirty floors. Please just come on. Well, if you really don't mind. Why, is that pie I smell? No, it's the smell of my daddy dying. No, I'm pretty sure that's the smell of your ma's apple pie. Oh, I did bake an apple pie for the Sunday meal, Doctor. Well, you sure do make the finest pie in the county, no doubt in that. Would you like a piece, Doctor? Well, I'd be a fool to turn down a slice of your pie, Ms. McKay. Well, a quick little piece, then. Okay. Hey, Frank Jr. Hey, Doctor. How's school been treating you? Good, good, you know, school. Yeah, so what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, maybe a doctor like you or a corpse. Uh, I mean, a farmer like my daddy. You know, boy, your pa's a fine man. Here's your pie, doctor. Why, that's lovely looking pie, Mrs. McKay. Mm-mm.
Would you like seconds, Dr. M? Why, I'd love another slice of pie. Force of habit. Get him another slice, Junior. I better check on Frank, Doctor. He's doing mighty poorly. Whatever. Frank Jr. You know, at one point I wanted to be a country western singer and not the doctor that I eventually become. Really? Oh, yeah. You're cheating, Hart. Doctor! Doctor! You better check on Frank. Death is banging on his door. Now, okay. Mrs. McKay, I really think I ought to be doing the doctoring around here, don't you? Yeah. All right. Now, once you learn a bar chord, the whole musical world is your oyster. You're cheating, Hart. Thanks for the coffee, boy. Well, let's have a look at this here dying man of yours, oh. Mr. McKay. Hey, Frank. Hi there, Dr. Amity. Let's have a look at you, boy. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't see anything wrong with this man. No reason why he shouldn't be out planting the sheep as we speak. Well, I guess I better be getting over to the Parker place. You know, Mrs. Parker's expecting one of mine. Why, well, is that chicken I smell? Well, there's one in the coop. I guess I could kill it and cook it for you. Well, if it ain't too much trouble. It ain't no trouble at all. That pie's for dessert. Yeah, perfect. 